every time I see one of your films, I feel like I walk out the theater with a flesh wound. <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, the reality is very important to you, isn't it? Yes, yeah. Why is that? You know, it's maybe it's just the way I get into a project or understand it. It's It, it helps me develop the world and to see it. Um, maybe it's because of the life I live, because I was in the military or, or, or grew up in, in um, you know, near downtown LA. Some of the things I've seen um, and, and some of the people I know, it's, it's uh, I don't want to get called out for uh, stupid mistakes. In this film, you are working with a Hollywood legend, yes. Arnold Schwarzenegger. How did that happen, and what does that mean to you? Because I know you kind of consider him a hero a little. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's it's a guy whose whose movies I grew up on. I mean, he's a former governor of California. Um, you know, uh, champion bodybuilder, champion businessman. I mean, this is a guy who's who's excelled in every endeavor. He's 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 tried. Um, so. With a guy like that, then, hey, Mr. S, can you come stand on your mark here? Can you open up for the camera a little bit? It's, it's intimidating as a director. But at the end of the day, he turned out to be this incredibly hardworking, just, just, just there, generous with his time, generous with the other actors, down to rehearse, down to work hard, no movie star stuff. Uh, he's just a very regular guy at the end of the day when he's on set. As a director, you can't really consider the legend and the movie star status and all that no, when you're on set, can no, you? No, no. It's, well, you have to have, you know, he, he, he's someone I respect and that, that basic respect is there and it's part of, um, it's part of our relationship. Uh, but at the end of the day, you got to roll up your sleeves and get the work done, you know, and you're fighting time and you're fighting the sun and the light and, and, um, and producers tapping their watches and, and you just got to get on with it. Talk to me about this dream team that is in the film. Like they are an elite squad of. They are so. It's it's basically a SWAT team that can sneak into an area undercover, and then throw on their weapons and equipment and be very well placed to to defeat the bad guys. And so they're the kind of guys that they can go anywhere, or do anything, whether it's you know slums of of Colombia or someplace right in our own backyard here. And those kinds of personalities that can do that are, let's just say they're complex. And that was the fun, was to create this insane family that Arnold's the dad of. And to see these guys operate as a SWAT team and to flow through these buildings and these tactical problems and, and to look like trained SWAT operators. As a unit, they have as to flow through. Yeah, you got to feel that this is a team that's worked together. And it's that that they're almost psychic because they know where the other person's going to be because they've done it enough. And that was part of the training and the repetition of the training. And we had just world-class people to teach these guys this this very nuanced ballet of violence. You require a lot of your actors, like, beforehand. Yes, yeah. We, I had a, a, a lot of prep time. And with Arnold, I mean, he was doing martial arts, he was fighting, he was sparring, he's doing a lot of things that I don't, know, I don't know if he's necessarily done before for a film, and it, it really pays off. Do you have to consider a budget for blood? <laughs> There's is a, it, there is a line <laughs> item for blood. <laughs> what was your budget? <laughs> I don't even want to say. <laughs> uh, I think we went through it. We ended up buying more. It's not cheap. Made in Hollywood.